don't tell me you've never had a friend like this. So, you'd be going out with them, like to the park or just for a walk or something, and it just happens that your crush is coming on. You know, you're all excited. You know, everything's fine until your friend and your crush start flirting. And the worst part about it is they know that that is your crush. And they're like chasing each other, telling you embarrassing moments that you trusted them with, and just full air leaving you out for conversation. And you're just stood there like, but in your head, you're like, sis, don't act like I won't just walk home. I don't care if I'm in the middle of the forest, okay? Here's another example. You're going out with another friend. It's just supposed to be the two of you. It's supposed to be a nice best friend day. But no, Tracy over there wants to pop along on your nice walk. Then boom. It's like you're not even there. It's like you're a ghost. It's just them two making TikToks together. And not even asking you to be in them. You know, friends like this get on my nerves. I swear to God, if you're like this, I actually hate you. And I have lost so many friends to this. My violin teacher was sick, we had a sub. Her name was Obese Denise. Her name fit her perfectly. She came out of the womb looking like a hippo. Anyways, nobody liked this bitch. Neither did the teachers, but she was the only option. She would always pick on students for no fucking reason. She tried to test my limits, so she had the fucking audacity to rip my music paper into pieces because I wasn't playing my violin right. Oh hell no, 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 this bitch can't even play any instrument. Last time I saw her, she was my art substitute with her painting that looked like it was drawn by a blind rhino's asshole. So I had enough of her fucking bullshit. I slammed her head into the drums. I blew the trumpet in her ear as loud as I could and also kept whacking her in the head with my violin at the same time. I was like, shut your bubble Dum dum cookie crumb, give me some big thumb ice cream cone, telephone ringtone, garden, no macedon, collarbone, baritone, flip phone, skin tone, google chrome, saxophone, growth, hormone, beta kick, corn flakes, disco break, rattlesnake, coffee break, belly ache, milkshake, cut, kick, fat ass up. I got my things and left the room, leaving her unconscious. I told the nurse that I was sick, so my mom picked me up. I told her what happened, even though I was scared, but a miracle from heaven came down, and my mom wasn't even mad at me. A weight was just lifted off of my shoulders. She even applauded me for my actions. We went to. I'm Debbie and this is my story. One day I was in my English class watching a movie about Shakespeare. I had beans and coffee before school. The most deadliest combination. It wasn't even that long before my stomach started rumbling when I got into class. The movie was really loud and I sat at the back of the class so I thought it would be my perfect chance to let out the most bubbly fart so no one could hear it over the sound of the movie. As soon as I was about to do it my teacher paused the movie to explain a scene and that's when I let out the most soggy doggy. Butchered froggy. Shit comes out loggy. Made the room foggy. So loud you would think it was the 4th of July. I swear to God one kid sitting next to the window opened the blinds because he thought he heard a thunderstorm outside. I dropped my books on the floor in hope of a save, thinking that people would have thought the sound was my books dropping. But that's when the creamy lumps fell out of my pants onto the floor. I ran out crying to the bathroom and called my mom and she took me home and got me new clothes. I had to go back to school the next day and everyone was laughing at me and was calling me Diarrhea Debbie. I have a story. One day in fifth grade we were on a field trip. On the bus I was sitting next to this weird girl named Patty McBerry. For some fucking reason Patty was so excited about the trip. We were going to a fucking museum. What the actual fuck who likes museums they are so fucking boring. Anyways, halfway through the trip Patty McBerry started coughing viciously. She had a seizure due to overexcitement. She was shaking from happiness for the rest of the ride. When we got there Patty McBerry ran out of that bus faster than coronavirus spread. She fainted because she was so excited. The tour guide had to hold on to Patty while he showed us around because she was too hyper. Out of nowhere, Patty McBerry broke free and ran right to the live animal section. She went to the gorilla's enclosure and smushed her face against the cage wall. Then out of nowhere she starts climbing up the fucking wall. Patty McBerry jumped into the enclosure and tackled the gorilla out of excitement. The gorilla ate Patty and she died. A few days ago my mom asked me if I know what that means. She said she sees it all over Facebook and that she's tired of it. I said it means waffles and pancakes and that's what I'm going to make for breakfast. She said oh yum and walked off. I ended up making them because I promised even though I know that's not what WAP stands for. She ate them and loved them and she put a picture up of me when I was making them. She captioned it I just gobbled up my daughter's WAP. It was scrumptious. People were laughing in the comment section and she didn't know why. She was replying back to everyone saying what's wrong with eating my daughter's WAP. The post got removed because of community guidelines. So I go to a private school with annoyingly smart students. And you all know this picture, right? Well, somehow that got into the conversation, and I was like, obviously it's gray and blue, we all know that. And oh my god, a whole course of my friends were like, huh? No, it's pink and white. And I was so shocked, because I don't get how they see pink and white. But literally everyone in the past has always agreed with me that it's gray and blue. Am I wrong? Or is it just smart people that see pink and white? What a shame. You know how when you're typing on your phone, if you like type certain words then an emoji appears it can't just be me who memorizes the words that make emojis show up so when i'm texting i'll just write a random word and then the emoji will come up instead of having to go into the emoji library and actually finding it like it can't just be me so i could be texting someone i could be like i gotta go and then just write run and then the emoji will come up i'll tap on the emoji and it'll be like a running emoji
Can someone please explain this to me? I genuinely want to know why people say stuff like, Oh, of course it's a Roblox kid. Or, of course it's a Fortnite kid. Like, I think I know I play Roblox. You don't need to tell me. And what's wrong with it? Yes, I know it's pretty old and out of trend. But does that really matter? Does it really bother you? Recently I had to have a tooth pulled And then they did a bone graft And the dentist kept saying they were using cadaver bone So then of course I was like I'm just curious Is it the bone from one specific person? Or is it like a mixture of people? And then the room got really awkward And the dentist in a really serious tone was like We're not allowed to disclose that information And I was like I'm not going to try and go hunt down their families or something. And, uh, but now I can't stop thinking about the person living in my face. And I sense that her name is Tammy. <laughs> and uh, now my face is haunted. And that's the story of Tammy the Face Ghost. If you play Adopt Me, there is no way you can't relate to this. So... Say someone trades you and you put one of your really good pets in, but then they put in a really bad pet, so you immediately decline, and then they say something in the chat like, I was adding a Meganeon Shadow Dragon. Are you sure about that? Are you sure about that? Yeah. And another example is, say you're trading someone and you're kind of questioning the trade, and they're like, please, it's my dream pet. That doesn't make me want to accept the trade anymore. Ex no. Just no. Mm -mm. And the last example is, say you have a really good pet out and someone trades you, so you put that pet in, but then they decline the trade. Wh why would you decline the trade? What? What? Why'd you? Why are you so much? Here's a short story which happened to me years ago. I was in the mall with my mom. We were shopping for clothes. I was small, okay? And when we were going up the escalators, I let go of my mom's hand. Then, when I held her hand again, it was not my mom. She just happened to have the same coat as my mom. Then I had to run in embarrassment and pray to God that I never see her again. I was making a cereal when I realized I have no milk, no cereal, no friends, no b****. No money, no job, no confidence, no social life, no car, no food, no goals, no future, no will to live. Can we all agree that parents are the biggest liars ever? For example, when your parent, my mom, calls you down for dinner and if you don't come down in 10 seconds, she will get mad at you. But when you come down, it's not even cooked yet. Oh, and when they say, you can't do that, this is my house. Um, excuse me. Last week, you literally told me to help clean the house because it's our house. Make up your mind. Why is it whenever you just look kind of scruffy and you're going to a local shop, you're wearing like a baggy t-shirt, tracksuit bottoms that barely fit you anymore, and you haven't even brushed your hair? You kind of just look a mess, you know? And then you walk into your shop and then like half of your class is there. It's like, why? So you decide to go to another shop. Guess what? The mean girl's there. And then you see the office lady. Please just go home and come back when I'm not there. Honestly, anytime there are kids around, my phone is in danger. As soon as they see it, they come up to you with their sticky little fingers and say, Do you have any games? Like, yeah, I do. But no, not with those crusty hands. And then they have the audacity to cry. This is my phone, not yours. I'm pretty sure my parents have very selective hearing. I would be there minding my own business, doing my own thing, right? And then I would hear my mom screaming my names from the bottom of the stairs. So I would go like, what? Really loudly. And so many times, but she literally wouldn't be able to hear me. Then I would have to go down and my mom would just be there asking, oh, what are you doing? But when it's like 2 a.m. in the morning and I'm calling my friends, whispering, barely making a sound, basically just breathing, she would already be storming to my bedroom, half asleep, yelling at me to shut up. How does this work? Because in primary school, it would be home time and all the parents are standing outside waiting for the teacher to let you go. And then suddenly a very, very serious crime happens in the classroom. Your teacher has discovered that there is one glue stick without a lid on it. She would say, um, excuse me everyone, where 
is the missing glue stick lid. You are not leaving until somebody finds it. Everyone is on their hands and knees, desperate to find the stupid piece of plastic. Like love, it's only a piece of plastic. Nobody wants to steal it. No one wants to sell it. It's worthless. You're having a bad day. I just thought it'd be nice for you to know that a girl who used to be in my class posted a thing to her story that was like, oh, like, honest opinions about me, please. And she responded to her own story and said, oh my gosh, you're the Heather. Queen Heather, you are the main character. You are so pretty and talented. This would have been fine if she didn't screenshot her own response and post it to her story with her username still clearly attached. It was so in character. She was like, oh my God, you guys, stop. Like, why does everyone think I'm the Heather? I can't do this today. It can't be just me. You miss one, one day of school and then the teachers let you go home early and it hasn't even been half a day ariana grande shows up to teach your music lesson there's a massive water balloon fight at lunchtime all sorts of tea nothing compared to what you've seen before movies in english along with a school trip to a theme park you meet famous tiktokers and get their merch for free and then you never hear the end of the day you missed again. Right, that's it. I can't anymore with these stupid friend requests. Why can't the friend requests come at the top of your screen? Not covering the jump button. I absolutely hate it. I was just about to make it to the top of like 40 stages. And then I got a friend request. I accidentally pressed accept instead of jump. And then I fell Thanks a lot, Unicorn Lover 568. Said that almost 59% of you guys have called your teacher's mom or dad. And if you haven't, lucky you. Because, oh my gosh, it is the most embarrassing thing ever. For example, your teacher is handing you something and you go like, thank you, mom. And then there is this awkward silence. The whole class turns around and stares at you. And then they start laughing. Oh, and I bet that 99 of you guys have cheated on a test, and if you haven't, you're lying! Some teachers just really get on my nerves, you know? I don't know what planet they're on, but they definitely are just built different. Here's an example. When you need to go to the toilet, you politely put your hand up and say, Miss, can I go to the toilet? No, you should have gone at lunch. I'm sorry, Karen, but I can't control my bladder. You know, at lunch, when I'm eating and drinking, it gets digested, and then later on, I need to go to the toilet. It will take me five minutes at max. Probably not even five minutes. Considering our lessons are like an hour long, I'm sure that's not too much of an issue, is it? And then sometimes they're just like, okay, but you need to wait until so-and-so gets back. I need to go to the toilet. I don't care about talking to anyone. I want to go to the toilet. I don't care about that. What do you think we're going to do in there? Just sit and chat for the rest of the lesson? No. The most annoying person that could ever exist is that one kid that asks for homework. The teacher would be like, all right, it's the end of the lesson, class dismissed. And we would all be in a good mood because they forgot about assigning us work. But then this stupid mother trucker would go like, Miss, what about the homework? <sighs> Benjamin, you little rat. Why would you do that? We got away with not having homework. Ugh. Then the teacher gives like eight double-sided pages of work to do. Thanks a lot, Benjamin. You know when you're playing Roblox with your friends and they're like, oh, what game do you want to play? And you're like, oh, I don't mind, you pick. And they're like, oh no, I picked last night, you picked tonight. So you just pick a random game, let's use Murder Mystery, for example. And you're like, oh, let's play Murder Mystery. And then your friend's like, I don't like that game. Well, don't tell me to pick the game then. If you don't like the game that I want to play, don't ask me to pick the game in the first place if you're not gonna play the game I want to play. So then you suggest another game. Like, oh, let's play Royal High. I don't like Royal High. No. If you want me to pick the game, you got to be happy with the things that I tell you. you got to be happy with the game that I pick. Because if you're just going to say no to all the games that I pick, what's the point in asking me to pick? Chloe, I know you're probably going to see this. And I know you're listening to this.
I will come to you and I will find you. Why do teachers literally want us to wet ourselves on our seats? Like when you're really desperate to go to the bathroom and you ask the teacher, please can I go to the bathroom? You always get the most judgmental comments from them. Like, no, you just had lunch, you should have gone then. Well, Mr. James, I didn't need it then. It's not like I can control my bladder. Come on, you're literally a biology teacher. Or, oh my god, the guilt tripping. Come on, we've literally only got 15 minutes left. You can wait. <sighs> okay then, I will literally pee on this chair in the next 15 minutes. So, don't blame... I used to know this girl who would constantly say things like, Guys, sorry, I'm so ugly. I just ruined the whole group photo, I'm sorry. And then everyone would automatically comfort her and be like, No, you're beautiful. You shine. And then she would be like, No, but... Thank you. And she would do the same thing over and over again, trying to get everyone's attention. So eventually, I got tired. So the next time she came to me saying, I'm so ugly, I was like, <laughs> you know what? You are. She was like, what'd you say? And I was like, bitch, if you think you're ugly, I can crop you out of the photo. The you want me to tell you? I'm not the one who made you look like a woolly mammoth. Hey Siri, I failed my final exams. Can you tell me a joke to cheer me up? What's the difference between you and your grandma? Your grandma passed. <laughs> My mother's first language is Spanish, so sometimes when I talk to her in English, she'll forget a word or two, but not a problem. She'll just create new words, words no one else was brave enough to use. She took my little cousins to the mall once, and this is what she told me when she got back. She was like, it was so cute. I took the kids on one of those, um, el horse tornado or whatever. You know what it is. I'm sorry. El horse tornado? I'm gonna need you to elaborate. And she was like, you know what I'm talking about. You put that attitude down, you put it down. I was like, okay, putting it down. Sorry. <laughs> she said, don't try me. I'll kick your ass. And I was like, you don't need to kick my ass. Just put me in a horse tornado. I'll be terrified. You think you're funny? Mom, how would you act if someone said that to you in Spanish? Tornado de caballos. That sounds horrifying. She was like, okay, that's pretty funny. <laughs> Merry go round, by the way. Four ways to be less ugly. Number one. I can't be the only one where if you go over to a friend's house and you are starving, absolutely starving, but you're too scared to ask for some food because, you know, you feel, like, rude if you just say, oh, can I just help myself to your fridge and your snacks? But then the mum comes up and asks if you want any food. You're too shy to say yes or no, so you are praying that your friend makes the answer for you and makes the answer yes. But then she says, no, we're not hungry. Excuse me, Vanessa. When did I say I wasn't hungry? Excuse me. Did you know that the word wrong is spelled wrong in the dictionary? Why would they spell it wrong in the dictionary? Because the correct spelling of the word wrong is wrong. And the wrong spelling of the spelling wrong wouldn't be wrong. That's why it is spelled wrong in the dictionary. I do not understand in the slightest how I can literally be falling asleep, right? I cannot keep my eyes open. But then when I actually get into bed and I want to go to sleep, I can't. I'm all of a sudden not tired. It's like I swear my days are backwards because I don't know how this works. It will take me like three hours to properly go to sleep, even though 10 minutes ago I was so tired. Sometimes it might just be the middle of the night and I will just still be laying there thinking about random things. Like how? Teachers are so hypocritical. I was late to my French lesson in school by not even two minutes. Two minutes. And my French teacher gave me a whole rant about how I have to arrive on time. But the next week, we were sitting in the classroom after lunch and the same teacher did not show up for 20 whole minutes. Don't get me wrong, having no teacher for 20 minutes and wasting 20 minutes of a lesson is fun. But when she came back, she was all like, I'm sorry, I lost track of time. Please forgive me. It just does not make sense. Now those popular girls who think they can sing, but in reality, they sound like a super massive black hole. I was paired up with one of them to finish a project and Miss Girl did nothing. Didn't even type a single syllable. So I had to go out of my way and finish her part of the project. And so today she posts on her snap story a video of herself singing, jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell rock. Big can go jingle your head into a brick wall. The